What's going on guys, Chris, Tech Savvy Agent. Welcome to The Q. We're live in Barcelona, Spain, the World Mobile Congress. And this is a super hot event. There's like castles and stuff behind me. We got the Spanish flag. You guys can see I'm in the middle of what they call the Plaza España. And this is about 50,000 people that are all here to learn about the latest and greatest in mobile. I can tell you guys right now, I've been here for two days. It's all about apps and tablets. So that's what we're gonna focus on in the queue this week. But I'm excited to be live from Barcelona. Welcome to the queue. Chris, the queue, we're here with the Honeycomb tablet. This is uh, by Google. This is their brand new Android device. Basically, you can't even get this thing yet. So I wanna give you guys a quick sneak peek, show you a couple sites. First of all, if you look at the home screen here, obviously I have all the Google apps, so it really integrates well with Google. You get the browser, Gmail, Talk, Books, Maps. If we go into a couple of these, if we pull up the browser, you guys can see, I mean, it's a full-blown browser, opens quickly, tab browsing, which is something that I don't have on the device that I'm using right now, so that's really nice. Also, there's no button, so there's not like a, a big button that goes back, you just, everything on the touch screen. I was looking at the YouTube application, and if you look how you kind of scroll through the videos, kind of an inno uh, innovative new way to kind of look at multimedia. So that's absolutely gorgeous. And then if we go back and look at what they call widgets, so they've got all these things that'll sit on your desktop, and I can actually scroll through to all my bookmarked uh, websites. And if I wanted to go right to ESPN, it'll kind of pull that out for me. Uh, no connection there, but you get the point. And then if we look at some of these other widgets, these are just videos that I've seen recently. So anything that I'm interacting with on the tablet, I can save to the home screen. And you can see it also has kind of multiple home pages here. So that's got a bunch of books that are on the device. We can scroll through the books. Do we want to open one up? Perfect. Let's go to Vanity Fair. And then we have an ebook reader. So, you know, this thing seems very intuitive. And I know a lot of you guys are waiting on this uh, to get your first tablet. I have nothing but good things to say about it so far. So the Honeycomb Android operating system, two thumbs up at Tech Savvy Agent. All right, guys, I'm here with my man Timur. Timur is from Russia. He's with a company called SPB Software. And they've got an unbelievable interface that works with the Android. So tell us a little bit about how this thing works, man. This is pretty neat. Basically, what we're showing here is not the end-user product, but rather a technology using which you can build a cool user interface. And this is just a reference product called SPB Mobile Shell version 5. It's a UI that you can't build using our technology. So we provide the UI engine, we provide the tools for customization, so you can change the skinning, you can change the 3D object, you can change the animation, whatever. I mean, you can make your totally new UI. So this is running on a Nexus, right? Yeah, exactly. This so this running, is the Android device. Exactly, this is running Nexus S. And it's just showing it on the big screen. And what would be kind of like, so whenever it pauses, it basically opens up and it does some kind of cool animation? Yeah, just for the reference, yeah. this is running on uh, Desire HD. Oh, awesome. So, yeah, so that's, that's that HTC? Was, that was not fake, right? Yeah, you see it's very smooth. Yeah, very smooth. so I can take all my different home screens and turn them into widgets? Um, not exactly. As I told you, that's a reference product. Mm -hmm. that, that's the concept of the UI. I mean, it can be different. Yeah, awesome. And so this will be available in uh, a device that I buy. It's not in the marketplace, right? Uh, it's not on the marketplace, so we're here for the device manufacturers, uh, for mobile carriers. So if you're with Nokia, Samsung, come talk to my man, right? Uh, that's our <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Well, thanks, dude. I appreciate it. That thing is slick. Can you give me one more spin? Sure. Beautiful. You can actually uh, switch back to 2D. Right. And then you go back into the 3D? Yeah, you can, you can switch like this. Wow. Well, I'm telling you, I know there's demand for, uh, you know, customization, so thanks for showing us this. Hi, you're welcome. Thanks. All right, guys, what's going on? It's the Q. We're at an awesome booth. You guys see I'm live streaming on the screen. I got my man here from a company called Uvu.com. How you doing, sir? I'm very good. How are you today? So tell us a little bit about what you have here. Basically, it's like a video chat, a lot of innovation happening, tablet, mobile, PC. So tell me a little bit about Uvu. So it's not like video chat. It is video chat uh, as opposed to a lot of our competitors. This is truly cross-network and cross-device, cross-platform. 
So the discussion we had before when you were in the real estate business and now I'm the agent when I show the house, I can come to the house, I have one of those devices, a smartphone mm -hmm. or uh, you know, my, my iPhone, an Android, tablet, sure. whatever it is, and I can basically show house, you know, the house around. Right. So basically you'll see uh, what's happening in the house. People can be connected on a PC, on another Android device. Right. Doesn't matter if they're on 3G, 4G, Wi-Fi, okay. wide connection, mm -hmm. they'll have the ability basically to see um, uh, they'll have the ability basically to see um, uh, what's going on in the house. Sure. No matter how they're connected and where they are connected. So it works on 3G, works yeah, on Wi Fi. Actually a 3G connection. Yeah. And she's in Israel, she's right? She's actually in Israel, so yeah. that's where you, you can really beat the network, right. so to speak. And, and then uh, I think the other thing that's important with this is it's uh, the client doesn't have to download anything, right? That's the other thing. So the other connecting point is a web, mm -hmm. it's basically web, when somebody can just get a link. Uh, and again, the person doesn't need to download anything. Click on the link, and here we go. The person is part of that multi-point conversation. Right. It can be shown the house or whatever. So I could take take a link, put it in Facebook, oh. say I'm about to do a tour of this home, yeah. and then they could watch it live. Yeah. Or it can be also, the link can be posted into the real estate uh, agent uh, 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 blog or website or whatever it is. That's uh, <laughs> right. Well, that's cool, man. I appreciate it. No, and uh, how do people learn more? What's the website for you guys? www.uvu.com. O-O-V-O-O.com. Two sets of eyes connected with a V. And we can, uh, we can try this all for free. Everything. It is a free product. Up to three-way video is for free. Okay. Um, and uh, on mobile, it is for free. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right, guys. I'm here with my man James from Glimpse. G-L-Y-M-P-S-E. What is Glimpse, my friend? Yeah, so Glimpse is the, uh, a real-time location sharing service. And instead of having a friends list that you manage, you actually send invitations to people to view your location. And the special thing about that invitation is it has a time constraint. So you're not worried about two days later, somebody you send an invitation to can view your location. And only for that amount of time you set, they can view your location. Okay. So, how you send a Glimpse? This is our application. It's available on iPhone, Android, uh, Blackberry, and soon on Windows Phone 7. Okay. At the menu button, send a glimpse. So you can send via phone, email, or SMS. The phone number, of course, would be uh, yeah, SMS message. Okay, okay. So let's paste an email in there. Go in, choose for how long you want to share your location. Let's say an hour. Okay. And hit send. Super simple, super quick. Cool. So you're out and about. You just yep. did that, and now somebody... Gets an email, right? So we move yep. over to the MacBook, which I'm loving. Yep. So, let's see. There we go. I guess an email. Scroll. This, we've done it a lot of times yeah, today. So we're going to hit the email. So you don't need any special software to okay. view the location. No download. No download, no nothing. So if you click the email from an SMS, it opens in a mobile browser. Still no special software. Okay. So again, you can see the real time <laughs> countdown, real location. Right. You can go in to your history on the application and see that Marcus did view my location. Okay. I can go in and say, okay, Marcus, actually, I want to meet you, meet that Marcus, my client, for coffee Okay. at my favorite Starbucks. Okay, perfect. Update that. And that's going to send them again? Yep, that's going to send directly to the thing, directly to watch it. Okay, so we don't even need to go to the inbox anymore. Yep. So there we go. Okay. He sees that I want to meet at Starbucks. He sees that I want to meet for coffee. Okay. And he sees I'll be there in six minutes. Awesome. So as I go, as I move, there'll be a green kind of arrow. Yeah. Follow me as I you go. Do, you do this at the red light, not while you're driving, right? Exactly. Okay, cool. Exactly. And, then, and then how does it integrate into like Facebook and stuff? Because this just looks awesome up sure, here. Sure. We can also, you can also post links to Facebook and Twitter. Okay. Sylvia here decided to post her glimpse to Facebook. So when you sign in with the application, uh, when you sign into Facebook within the application, right. you're able to choose Facebook as a recipient and post your glimpse to Facebook. It has cool. the same time constraints. You can yeah. still add a destination. All the same functionality you can get on the normal web browser you can show within Facebook. Yeah, and it's even showing, like, she'll be there in six minutes. She's going 40 miles an hour. Yep. It's showing where she's at on the map in live, kind of real time here. Yep. Awesome. Well, dude, so we got to be careful with this stuff, right? Yep. You got, you know, but you control the privacy, et cetera? Exactly. We, we give you a chance to control with whom you share with and when you share your location. Awesome. So, Glimpse, 
Android, iPhone, download it, right? It'll be on the Honeycomb tablet. Yep. Blackberry. Blackberry too. Surprised it works on that. <laughs> it was cool. I'm here with uh, Oli from Google. He's going to show us some of the new stuff with Google Maps on the Honeycomb. Right. So this is the uh, Android tablet, soon to be on Verizon, running Android 3.0. Uh, it's got the Vector Maps version, uh, which means that uh, instead of static north up uh, tile-based maps, it's uh, vector-based maps, which is rendered on the client, which lets you do a lot of different interactive things. Uh, you can rotate the map around with these gestures. You can tilt the map to get a different perspective. Uh, you can zoom in to whatever level you think is appropriate. Uh, and we're not going across the network here to grab more tiles with the zooming. We're just taking the vector data and, and stretching it out. Right. Uh, also with the tablet, we've got more screen real estate. Uh, so with a lot of the Android apps, you'll see this action bar across the top with the common things you do, the searching direction, uh, different extended things off the menu there. Sure. Uh, we've also got a, a side panel here with the content, so you can look at the content and the map at the same time. Whereas with the phone, you had to see the map or the content and switch back and forth and lose for the context. So, right. So this is a, a bar in, in New York, and you can shuffle through the results and, and also zoom in on these. And then from, from here, we can go into the street view as well. Sure, there's this Pigman icon yeah. here. I click on that. It, it goes down in and we can see the, uh, awesome. the surroundings from this area. Cool. Well, thank you so much. I have Maggie, the lovely Maggie, by the way. And uh, we're going to look into Wi-Fi printing capabilities with HP. So how these work. Well, it's actually cloud-based, not Wi-Fi. You just need a phone, and in this case, a BlackBerry, and our app. It's called the HPE Print app. And you're going to talk about, I think, the printing to printers. Yes. But I'm going to talk about printing when you're on the go and you want to print to a FedEx office to get one of your documents that you perhaps had created for a house that you're going to put for sale. So all I have to do, if you want to take a close look, is I grab an email. And, uh, okay, let me say I want this one. And I only want to print the attachment. And so what I would do is I would choose a place either near me or I would choose public printers, and I type in something like, I'm at Mobile World Congress, so I'm going to type Mobile World Congress, and I hit uh, enter, and then it searches the printer in the cloud services for all, any printer that meets that criteria, okay. and in this case, I'm at the HP stand. It'll show me where it is. It'll even help me find it in BlackBerry Maps, awesome. and then I hit print. I will get a code, an email code, and it says it was successful. So I will look at my email, and I will get my email code. Looks like it was submitted, and uh, when I get that, I will be able to take that code and plug it into FedEx. This is not FedEx, but if you walk into a FedEx, yeah. you would have a really cool touchscreen uh, copier printer, and you would enter that confirmation code when you send your printer from your smartphone. Yeah. So, so you need the HP print app from Apple, BlackBerry Apple. Okay, and uh, is that an app on other devices? Uh, right now it's only on the BlackBerry. Okay. We announced the web OS capability of the available late spring. Awesome. And then we'll add more clients as yeah. time so goes So think, think about this, guys. We get uh, an email, here's the flyer, here's the brochure, are you ready to print this out? Instead of having to go to the office, you pull out your BlackBerry, you hit the button, you go to FedEx, and it's waiting for you, you give them the code to get it released. And then the Wi-Fi capability, that's just, I want to print something on my computer from my phone, and I don't have to do anything, I don't have to plug it in, I just print it. Well, if you, if you have an HPE printer, which these are all HPE printers today, you just need the email address of that printer, and you just email a job to your home printer using ePrint. No app, just... So I, I send an email to a special email address, of your and it just printer. starts printing. Yep. So if I'm driving home and I'm at a red light, oh, I yes. don't want to... Or, yeah. or pulling over. Exactly. <laughs> and I send that email when I get home, the, it's sitting in the tray. Yep. Awesome. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you. Appreciate your time. And uh, we'll have more in the queue in a few minutes. All right, guys, I'm here with my man Juan. Juan works for Google, and he's demoing today what's called Google Body which I think is probably the coolest thing I've seen at the whole show. So that's pretty cool. So show us how this works here, Juan. So Google Body, we like to think about it as Google Earth for the human body. This was done in our 20% time, so it's sort of a side project for innovation purposes. So um, we've got the Motorola Zoom tablet here, and you can scroll around, rotate, and we've got different anatomical layers here. We've got the muscles, the bones, the organs. You can zoom in, click to select. Wow. You can see uh, the interiors for things. Uh, I kind of like looking inside the heart because there's a lot of detail there. Amazing. Yeah, there we go. So you can see the ventricles and the valves and such. And of course, this wouldn't be a Google product. 
without search. Right. So now so we're in the brain. We yeah, the brain. What, which is the 10% that we use, Juan, do you know? <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, so that's neat. So is that available? Uh, we, they can find that, right? How do they find that if they want to just mess around with it? Well, uh, the Android version, hopefully pretty soon, but right now we've got a version on the web, Body Browse that is uh, googlelabs.com. But just search for Google Body and you can't miss Google it. Body? Google Body? So Google Earth for the human body. Basically, yeah. Love it. Thanks, Juan. Right, guys, what's up? It's Chris. I'm here with my man Thomas with Swift Key. You guys got to see this. It's a new typing technology. It's in the Android marketplace. It's going to be on the tablet, but it doesn't just predict what you're going to type from a word level. It predicts it from like a kind of a understanding what goes next in the sentence kind of deal. So let's check it out here on the Honeycomb tablet, and he's going to do a demo. So he's going to basically type, I, I'm going to be showing homes next week and just watch how this works guys Awesome. So basically, it's not just uh, figuring out what he's typing from like a you know uh, verbiage perspective. It's kind of like a source, right? Sure. And you guys built this. Yeah. The camera. The cameraman built it. The cameraman is one of the really good people that built it. Yeah. It basically, understands the way language is Sure. Understands the rules of language, the way the words interact with each other. Yeah. How much faster would you say I could type using this than a normal? Depends on your I mean, you get used to it yourself. I think the key point isn't that this is somebody's faster, it's just it picks up your personality. It picks up the words that you would use yourself and the way that you would use them. So, like, I say insane a lot, so it would just, like, no. So I just press I and no. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. So, thanks, thank Thomas. Alright guys, I'm here at Blackberry. This is the Blackberry Playbook and I wanted to show it off for you guys. Not available anywhere. I'm going to pop open the browser, uh, which is a full browser, the full browsing experience uh, that you would be used to. It's not like a, uh, like the typical Blackberry phone browser. It's got my history there so I can go into any of the sites, Google, etc. Really nice browser. Some of the cool stuff here, guys, you can actually touch in the corners. So if I want to look at tabs, I'm actually swiping down uh, or swiping up on the actual uh, border. So to pull it down, I pull it down, and then I can actually add a new tab. Uh, so there is a full tab browsing. I could go into Vimeo or any other website. So now have two things open at once, and then I could actually pull down from the top here, and it's got both. So that's really neat. Uh, the other thing that's really neat is uh, how many apps actually work and are cool on here. So you've got all kinds of different apps. Uh, Quake, this was a pretty neat one that he showed me, where it's actually got the full video, uh, so for gaming and stuff. But check this out, if I swipe from the left to right, I actually have two videos running at the same time. So this would be like a, a movie or any kind of multimedia that I wanted playing. Sorry for the bootleggedness here. So this is any kind of video that I want playing. And uh, beautiful screen, I mean, that just looks great. And if I swipe from the left to right, it shows me that I actually have two things open right now. And I can go into the different uh, screens all at the same time. So that's really cool. The other neat thing was if I swipe in the left corner, it'll pull up a keyboard. Uh, from any screen that I'm on. So that was a pretty cool feature. And of course, it's got the camera, uh, which the iPad, of course, doesn't have. And it's got the front and rear facing camera. So I just want to show that really quickly. Pop it open. And uh, that's going to be front, that's obviously the front and the rear facing camera. So you can see me there kind of filming myself, if you will. So the Blackberry Playbook, definitely a cool device. And uh, glad I was able to bring this to you guys. All right, guys, so that's the cue. Thank you for tuning in. We're in Barcelona signing off. Some crazy technology. The honeycomb, the playbook, glimpse, swift type. I can't even remember it all. But uh, glad you guys tuned in. Thank you. Share this on Facebook. Uh, throw it out there on Twitter. The World Mobile Congress is coming to an end. Give you guys one last look around. And uh, what an amazing event, 50,000 people, 
Mobile is not just huge, guys. Mobile is the way that we're going to consume all media, and it's already here. So thanks for tuning in. Chris with the Q, signing off from Barcelona.